Dragons have been a part of many different cultures, from Arthurian legends to Chinese emperors and so many in between. So today, Olean Public Library presents painting dragon's eye pendants using glass paint and faux liquid leading. One of the tricks for working with this paint is to keep the bottles on their side for a while before you begin painting. I also make sure to put a little drop on a paper towel or tissue before you get started with each color. This ensures that the paint is flowing. To start painting our dragon's eyes, I began with the pupil. I used a slit pupil. The black paint is actually the liquid faux leading for stained glass. You can use any color as the pupil to remember to make your dragon your own. I then put down a layer of yellow. I used the tip of the paint bottle to drag out some lines to indicate colored veins. I then laid down orange and made sure to drag the veins out to the edge of the eye. Once I had dragged them out to the edge of the eye, I used some green to fill in the spaces left behind by the orange lines. The red fills in empty spaces not covered by the rest of the colors. A few air bubbles should be all right, though you can pop them with the tip of your paint bottle. I recommend giving the paint overnight to dry. If it is still a little bit tacky, then give it a bit longer to dry. Once your eye is thoroughly dry, you can easily glue the eye into the metal pendant. Remember to make sure that your eye is pupil up. Happy crafting, be safe, and please post your photos to the Olean Public Library Facebook page.